Welcome to another edition of the Journal of Lifestyle Medicine podcast. I'm Sven Hosford, and this is a collaboration of journalists and integrative medicine professionals working together to help educate people about the latest news and discoveries and science of lifestyle medicine. Today is July 29th, and this is our podcast for the middle of winter. I think uh, autumn has just kicked right in. I don't know what the heck is going on. I think we had frost warnings last night, uh, so I'm not sure what's happening with the weather, but I'm sure it's one more sign of the apocalypse as is our summer issue of the journal, and that is out on the streets right now at waiting rooms, health food stores, and yoga studios all over Western Pennsylvania. If you'd like to see a map of where you can pick up a copy, just go on over to the website and hit the print button, and you'll see uh, that there's a map available, just like our trusty uh, bionic uh, engineer is doing thusly at this very moment. You can subscribe on the website. You can email me, svenhosford at gmail.com. And we record live here every Tuesday at four o'clock Eastern Pittsburgh time, uh, where you can follow along on the uh, website live, or you can catch us uh, every week on Stitcher, Spreaker, iTunes, and YouTube. So coming up in future podcasts, next week we have Noreen McGinnis Campbell on becoming a coach, a health coach, after being a store owner for three generations. I mean, she wasn't for three generations, but her family was. You all have heard of the McGinnis Sisters stores and their their uh, commitment to quality and quality food. Well, now she's turned that into a health coach career. Very interesting story. In two weeks, we're really happy to say that Chef AJ will be on. She is the author of Unprocessed, uh, which is a book about the, uh, which she says, critical importance that we cook and eat with no salt, no sugar, no oil of any kind. And of course, we're going to ask the very most first, most important question, where's the taste? What do you mean no salt, no sugar, no oil? Where's the taste? So we'll find out all that from Chef AJ in two weeks. And in three weeks, Joni Sturgill will be here and we'll talk about mindful meditation and mindful activities like yoga. She is uh, ready with all kinds of latest science on just what these ancient practices do to our mental health, our physical health, and our spiritual health. Plus, I'm sure she'll tell us about her upcoming retreat to Costa Rica. Wouldn't you like to be in Costa Rica in March? So coming up in this podcast, we've got Dr. Lori Lankowitz, and she is in the uh, uh, current issue of our magazine, the Journal of Lifestyle Medicine. She's got an article on physical therapy and its role in integrative medicine. So we're going to talk about that. And uh, this is a, a really good chance to figure out and understand why your physical therapist might also be your best mental therapist. So look forward to talking to her. But uh, to start off our calendar for the week, let's get to our sponsor, Trenton Ozipak with Organically Social and find out some details about an event that's coming up in mid-August. So here we are with Trenton Ozipak from Organically Social. What's the next event on your calendar? So August 16th, we are having a community wellness meet and greet at the Pittsburgh Public Market. Uh, it's, it's sponsored by the Journal of Lifestyle Medicine. Yeah, hey, I've heard of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some good, friends good, of ours. Good magazine. And Pittsburgh Technology Council. Uh, this event is free and open to the public. It's from 9 to 1 on Saturday, August 16th. And from 8 to 9 in the morning, there'll be free community yoga. It will feature each of our yoga studios that we work with. Yoga Hive, Helium, Essence of Freedom, Prima Yoga, um, uh, Embody Natural Health as well. So it's going to be a great day. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Cool. Thank Thanks. you. So also in the calendar this week, uh, uh, for this week anyway, but it's happening next week, August 6th, Wednesday, is uh, Dr. Uma Puragala, and she's going to be speaking at the Psychiatric Grand Rounds at St. Clair Behavioral Health in Export. And this is a really interesting event because you can go there or you can watch it live and you can also just watch it afterwards, and it'll be recorded. Uh, and this is also an opportunity for our integrated medicine professionals to get together. If you'd like to meet face-to-face, -face, I'll be out there and uh, hopefully going to have a word or two with Dr. Uma before or after. She is a really interesting medical professional, family doctor, and she's teaching the, the best stuff about plant-based diet. She runs a website called the plant-based plate. So we'll find out more about that 
uh, in a couple weeks when we talk to her. Coming up on uh, the 16th, this is also the same day as the uh, uh, wellness meet and greet there at the Pittsburgh Public Market, but that evening will be the 2014 Farm to Fork Dinner at Sorgles Market, and this will be a chance for you to uh, experience slow food and reconnect with the land. Uh, it's an annual sunset dinner in the apple orchard. This is really a nice nice event. There's going to be all kinds of locally sourced uh, drinks and food and uh, hors d'oeuvres, wine, beer, uh, really a nice opportunity to sit and enjoy the land. And that's again on the 16th uh, at uh, in the evening. You can find out more about that at sorgels.com. That's S-O-E-R-G-E-L-S, sorgels.com. That's for our audio listeners. Coming up on September 9th, our friend Lindsay Smith will be taking her body love tour to the Union Project over in the East End. This is a really interesting and inspiring evening for women of all ages, sizes, shapes, uh, and actually not just women, but anybody that really wants to learn about uh, how to love yourself, how to love your body just the way you are. Lindsay's a really inspiring person. She's been through a lot. And then on the 12th, we've got uh, Patty Lemmer's vaccination conversation happen at Phipps Conservatory. Uh, if you haven't seen it, you really need to go back and watch our podcast uh, that we did with Patty Lemmer. She is really one of the world's leading experts on the autism spectrum disorders and vaccines and their roles in it. And it's not what you think. They're not a bunch of crazy anti-vax people. She's really got the science behind it. And it's a great opportunity to have a calm, civil conversation uh, about the whole uh, the whole topic. So do you want to put that on your calendar for September 12th? Coming up in November is a couple of very interesting things. We've got the Pittsburgh School of Massage Fall Conference for Massage uh, CEs at Seven Springs. If you're a body worker of any type and you're looking for your CEs, this is a, really the best opportunity you have to get them all in one weekend and uh, have a nice relaxing time out there at Seven Springs. Pittsburgh School of Massage, uh, Google that because their website is like pghschmass.com. And that's harder to remember. So uh, Pittsburgh School of Massage, Bob Jantz is a great program out there, most established uh, school in Pittsburgh. And then also in November, if you want to catch Dan Wagner and Dr. Softar Chaudhry and Ola Obasi, all three healers going on a trip to Ecuador, uh, you really need to watch the video we did with Dan about that. That's coming up November 9th to the 19th and find out more at NutraPharmacy.com. And that's pharmacy, F-A-R-M, Nutra, N-U-T-R-I, pharmacy.com. And then one special announcement. I've just been authorized. I can say this word and it's one word. Just put this in your memory. And that word is juice fest. Juice Fest, that's right, coming up in November. Uh, we'll find about it, more about it here from uh, Trent Nazipak and the gang at Organically Social. But you heard it here first, Juice Fest. So that's the calendar looking ahead. Uh, but before we get to our guests, let's take a look back at last Saturday and some of the fun and the vendors that were at the One World Yoga Fest at Point State Park. Now, this was a full 12 hours of yoga at the point and third year, and they were blessed with great weather. Uh, all I saw were smiles. And uh, I want to thank everyone who appears in this video. This was so much fun to shoot. Um, but I'd like to take just a moment because I do work with a lot of uh, integrative medicine professionals and you're very great people and you're wonderful, humble people. But let me tell you, as marketers, sometimes you just suck as marketers. So here, I want to have a teaching moment and I want you to pay very close attention to see if you can spot the two people who I thought get an A plus in this marketing 101 exam. And the exam is... If somebody walks up to you and sticks a camera in your face and says, who are you and what do you do? Do you have an answer? Are you ready and prepared? I want you to see if you can spot the two people who were super prepared. Again, everybody had a, did a great job in the video. I want to thank everybody on there. But I thought two people really, really stood out as uh, being prepared to showcase what they do. So let's take a look back at Yoga Fest 2014. What's your name? Elena. And you're with? Oh, I'm at Salt Power Yoga. Salt Power Yoga. And yeah. Two locations. We have two locations. It's been a great day. It's beautiful weather. And um, it's just really nice to kind of branch out and get to experience different styles of yoga than I normally do. 
So everybody's been really nice, and I think there's some good vibes. Good vibes. Yeah. Nobody's harshing your mellow here today. No. All right. That's really good juice. That's great. Okay. My name is Aubrey Johnson. I own Moxie Mind and Body Pilates Studio. We're located in downtown Pittsburgh, uh, Market Square, right above NOLA Restaurant. And then we have a little satellite location in Dormont within Sterling Yoga, right off of Potomac. Cool. Which is right here sharing your booth. Sterling's right there. Yeah, oh, awesome. I showed those before. But the, um, and then so what are you going to show us here? Today, I brought uh, the Wunder Chair. The Wunder Chair? The Wunder Chair. Joe Pilates, the creator of Pilates, he was German. So this was the W-U-N-D-A Wunder, Wunder Chair, a.k.a. Wonder Chair. So when he created this, this is how, this was your home gym. Okay. You could put it in your little New York apartment. It didn't take up much space. And when you were done working out on it, you'd fold this up, flip it this way, and you'd have a chair to sit on. So it was also functional. So you can do all oh. kinds of different stuff. So I'm going to demonstrate the pull-up. Okay. Whoa. Okay, that looks like it, it takes some effort. So, that's just one of the many, many exercises you can do. But That's awesome. Yes. Pilates is all about the core. A lot about the core. It starts out, a lot of people think Pilates is just ab work or core work. Um, it starts, when you're starting out, it feels a lot that way, because that's your foundation, so we build that first. Yeah, you're more than But it does become a total body workout, so... It's, it's, it's everything. It's cardio. Like toes, there's neck exercises. There's foot exercises. Well, actually, Joe said there are no arm exercises like exercises. Everything is for the spine. But you feel it everywhere. So awesome. I should clarify. Yeah. Awesome. Well, great. Thank you. I mean, what, how, do you, how do you like the uh, yoga fest? It's great. This year, oh, it's beautiful this year. Great weather. Great people. Great awesome. company. Hey, Sterling Woo! Yoga's here. Uh, <laughs> so great. it's been wonderful. Thanks, Aubrey. Thank you. I love the yoga fest. It's been, it's been really great for Naturally Sore Girls because a lot of people in this community don't know that we exist and yeah. we've been around for five years, so um, it's been great. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Amy. Yeah. <laughs> How do you, what do you think of the Yoga Fest? Uh, it's been great so far. We've been having a lot of fun. The weather was great. It held up for us. And I think people are really enjoying themselves and having a good time. Great. And you got your books here. You got some uh, Dan Dog. Yes. So you better come down and get your Dan Dog tea before they run out. That's um, so what I've been telling everyone. Uh, yeah, we got the Dan Dog teas and just some inspirational products. Awesome. In my books. So awesome. Try to make people smile. There you go. It's working. <laughs> so, okay. so this bike tilts and turns, has an eight degree lean to each side. Stationary bike that tilts and turns to mimic a real ride. So wow. say I was on a seated flat, I just have a nice little bounce here. During class, we would instruct to lean left, turn right, and hold. All abdominals, all obliques, core engagement, plus upper body strength. Say I come, came up out of the saddle, just like climbing a hill on a real bike. That's awesome. Awesome. So much fun. What do they call Lean these left, bikes? Turn right, real riders, R-Y-D-E-R. -E First wow. bikes to tilt and turn to mimic a real ride. And tell me about your studio that you're gonna be opening yeah, up. Yeah, our studio is opening on Federal Street. It's uh, diagonal from PNC Park right across the street from Soho. It'll have um, 15 real rider bikes, and then uh, one instructor bike in one one room, and then the other room will be uh, a yoga studio. Awesome. So we're so excited, yeah. Yeah, that's great. Indoor cycling and yoga coming to the North Shore. Well, we need it, because it's a long winter here. Yeah, that's the <laughs> truth. That's the truth. It's so vibrant down there when the sun's shining, everyone along the river, but it'll be a great place to come in the Gosh, long winter. And the name of the place is? Urban Elements and Psychology. Psychology. Psychology is spelled C-Y-C-O-L-O-G-Y. Oh, you guys are so clever. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks for talking. Yeah, thanks so much. Okay. On my way. Hey, Sven. Yeah. You're number three here at Coral Yoga Fest, and the weather is absolutely gorgeous. No today. rain, no rain. No rain, I know. Each year we have a fantastic time. Look we at this crowd you got. Fantastic group. Moon salutations. No salutations no. It is the best day ever, and it's a wonderful awesome. thing for all of us yogis to get to see each other because we don't. Yeah. You know? So, awesome this is day. Cool. So happy the sun is shining. Okay. <laughs> have a good one. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm Lauren Wells. I'm the director of digital media at World Magazine. Awesome. I'm Stephanie Flowers. I'm the production manager. And I'm Megan Million, and I'm account executive. Awesome. And so, how, what did you think of the yoga fest today? Um, it has been amazing. I think it's our best year yet. Uh, Mother Nature has blessed us with beautiful weather finally. Um, everyone seems to be enjoying all the classes, and they've been just magical. And we've actually taken just finished our second one. So we're doing a little wind dance. Yeah, then the wind is kicking up. So so everyone's feeling a nice breeze. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great. We have great vendors this year. We have a lot of food. You know, yogis get hungry too. So it's nice to have to have all the options here. It is. Well, great. Thanks for talking with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So congratulations to Jack and Christine and the whole gang at World Publications. Great job on the Yoga Fest. That was just so much too much fun. And uh, again, congrats to the whole staff, everybody there just did a super job. So now let's get on to our guest. Uh, Dr. Lori Lankowitz is CEO of Balance for Wellness, LLC, that has two locations in Butler and Mars. She's a PT with a PhD, and that means she's a doctor of physical therapy. And she has an article in the, this summer issue of the uh, Journal of Lifestyle Medicine, where she talks about the role of physical therapy in integrative medicine. And so we're going to start off right there. So first off, welcome, Dr. Lori. Thank you, Sven. How are you today? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm good. I've been in meetings all day and <laughs> thankfully just slid into the desk and here we go. Busy CEOs. That's what you have to do is be in meetings, I understand. Yeah. So yeah, meetings here and there or treating here and there. That's it. Well, uh, hopefully sometimes it's both the same, you know, treating the, treating the people in the meetings, I guess. That's absolutely true. And I say that because uh, in your article, I love this one quote you said where um, integrative medicine creates a relationship between the client and the practitioner that allows the client to regain responsibility for their healing process. And they do that mm -hmm. through education, guidance, and active commitment to their goals. Now, I'm assuming that means that the professional is actively educating and guiding. We're used to that, but committed, uh, actively committed to their goals. That's something new. Tell me uh, how that works there at Balance for Wellness. Well, you know, most people want to feel better, but not all people want to do the work. And I think what has happened in our healthcare system over the last multiple years is the fact that we have gone to our medical practitioners, whomever they are, uh, typically a, a, an MD, you know, a, a PCP, and said, boy, I don't feel well in whatever regards, and, and some medication has been given to us. And, you know, medications will abate symptoms, but they do not always cure. And so when we start looking about taking taking an active approach in our own health, that is about, yes, maybe we need a medication to get the process going. However, beyond that, we need to start making some changes in our lifestyle. Uh, we may need stress reduction, nutrition, nutritional supplements, exercise, um, drinking more water. I mean, there's multiple things, but in order for us to obtain health, we have a role in it. It's not just about the practitioner healing us. Right, right. Well, I love that. And, uh, you know, you, you've laid it all out very well for uh, the, the, the responsibilities of the, of the, uh, the clients, what we might call patients. Um, and what I really like working, the reason I really like working, one of the reasons I like working with uh, people like yourself in the, in the integrative medicine community is because you actively are an example of that health, you know, mm -hmm. practicing those good health practices yourself. Um, because so, so many people who are in the integrative medicine field got there because of their own health challenges, but also because mm -hmm. they can see uh, that it's the smart way to go. So 
you know, what, from what I've seen of you and your staff up there, you're all committed to your own personal health, not just mm -hmm. because it's important, but also uh, it's important to be a good example to your your patients, to your clients. Do I have that about yeah. right? Yeah, you absolutely do. And, you know, I'll take that even a little bit more on a personal level with myself. And, you know, at this point in my life, for the last multiple years, I've been trying to figure out why I have felt a little sluggish or, you know, why I'm holding weight that really for how I eat and how I move and everything I shouldn't be holding and, you know, general aches and pains. And then finally, a couple years ago, um, actually through a fall that I had, mm. I had a CT scan and my head was fine, but my thyroid was enlarged. And uh, through blood work and then that, that CT, I was diagnosed as having hypothyroidism um, and also Hashimoto's disease. And so for the past couple of years, I've really been active in working with different practitioners to, to make headway in this. And, and definitely some symptoms are better, but literally just today, both through a, a personal appointment and then a professional appointment uh, with Dr. Dennis Courtney, uh, we've we talked even further about steps that I need to take uh, as far as the medication I'm taking, supplements that I'm taking, um, changes that need to be made in those, but also some low dose antigen therapy to actually halt the Hashimoto's, you know, to get rid of the antibodies because that's an autoimmune disease. Wow. And so it's it's you know a daily thing making sure that I'm intaking iodine and I'm eating the right foods and exercising but not over exercising, um, as well as you know what is that perfect uh, amount of of compound the T3 I should be taking, mm. and you know the thing about this and I just said this to him today, you know and taking care of myself through all this there we have multiple clients that come to us for physical therapy who have been to their medical doc saying, boy, I have all this weight or I feel tired or I feel depressed and so on and so forth. And they do a general blood test or well, your thyroid's fine, but it actually is thyroid disease. Hmm. Wow. <coughs> well, that's, uh, that's all news to me. And uh, I uh, wish you the best <coughs> in, in, in working on that. And, uh, you know, it, uh, you really do exude uh, a pretty good uh, aura of health. Uh, no matter what's going on behind yeah. the scenes. I mean, you, you and your whole staff do. So I uh, give you a lot of credit for that. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. It's, uh, you, must be, <laughs> you must be allergic to podcasts. Something. Uh, <laughs> I get it. I just all of a sudden had a tickle well, in my throat. It's a Murphy's Law thing. As soon as we start talking about how healthy you, and that your aura is, you start to sneeze. <laughs> in the interest of full disclosure, I need to say that uh, Dr. Laurie and I have a history. Not that kind of history. This is a, a fun history. This is where we used to share office space in a building that was haunted. Uh, the, this was a, a building that used to be a funeral home, uh, and she was a little two-person office on one floor, and I was a little two-person office uh, on another floor, and we had haunted steps in between. <laughs> Do you have any have any memories there you want to share of those, those times, Lori? No, I think your favorite thing is the whole temperature. Oh, yeah, yeah. Know? Yeah, well, they would go, go near that. We would get uh, extra heat when we didn't want it. We get extra heat because the ghosts are twenty degrees colder, so they go stand next to the thermostat. <laughs> yeah, there, there's quite some rascals. Those guys. I think uh, they took over our podcast here for just a minute. We had a little technical yeah, glitch too, geez. so I'm not sure what's going on there. But so let's get back to uh, the present. Uh, you're obviously a much bigger, better operation now. You went from uh, one little office to two medium-sized offices. Now you're going to conglomerate into one huge office up there in Butler. Do you want to tell us about that? It, it, this has been such a crazy journey. You know, <laughs> when Sven talks about us knowing each other, that was back in 2000. You yeah. know, so literally 14 years 14 ago. 14 years ago. And just, you know, I, I, and somebody just asked me this yesterday, you know, how I decided to take the leap into owning my own business. And I explained to her that I, in that time period, you know, I graduated from physical therapy school in 1994 and worked for other people. And it was in 1999 that I had been living in Ohio and I moved back home. And I, people kept saying to me, why don't you open your own business? And I kept saying, I don't know anything about business. You know, we didn't learn that in PT school or in my undergrad. And um, and then things just started happening. You know, I, I just started trying little bits and pieces and, and uh, it, 
you know, it was serious, obviously, when we were in Swissville, but it became more serious when uh, in 2002, I, I was in Butler and I had some contracts some long-term care and home care contracts for physical therapy. And I saw it assigned space for rent in, a, in an athletic club. And I thought, I might as well check. I've heard this enough. Let me see what I can do. And lo and behold, I ended up opening the doors there a few months later. And the initial joke was, you know, who would open a business with myself as a PT uh, an ultrasound machine and an upside down traction unit. And, uh, and that's how it started. You know, of course I had a computer and, and a therapy bed and over time it's just grown. So that was 2002. We stayed in that space about a year. I was doing physical therapy and teaching yoga and weight loss. Uh, and then I opened up on route eight in, in Butler and stayed there for three years. And then I bought the building on Hanson Avenue that we've been in now for eight years. And then two years, two and a half years ago, I opened in Mars and it's just been this constant journey and you know it's done very well i now have seven employees uh we're actually getting ready to hire another physical therapist to really start to uh, give me a little bit more time to focus more on integration uh, of physical therapy and and really focusing on bringing other uh, medical practitioners in to be involved with us to help other people as well as for myself i do personal coaching and group coaching and now I'm a certified uh, business coach to do leadership development. Hmm. So when we move into the new space on Route 8 in Penn Township, which will be just north of Dinner Bell Road near Hard Rock Cafe, Conley's Resort, a lot of people know that area. Uh, when we move in there, we'll have space on the first floor. And that will be balanced for wellness with the physical therapy. There will also be a yoga studio and a massage studio on the first floor that I do not own. And then we'll have space on the second floor that will house some offices, including mine, and, and a really nice conference room. So we can really start to begin on uh, trainings and education for the public and really uh, reaching out to teach people about integration. That's awesome. That's a great, uh, a great history. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy for you, you know, having known you for this long. It's, uh, it's great to see you being so successful. Yeah. I, I think the two things that really stand out for me as – you know, things you were smart enough to take advantage of. And the first is that uh, the the importance of combining many modalities and finding other therapists to work with and, and really branching into integrative medicine kind of organically is is the yeah. one thing. And we're going to talk a lot about that uh, in building a network and so forth. But the, the other big development was the direct access to physical therapy. And even still today, a lot of people don't know about that. Do you want to talk about when that started, how that started, and what that allows people to do? So that, that's such a great point because 2003, it was in 2003 that we were granted direct access in Pennsylvania. And that was right about the time that I was opening up in Butler. Now, granted, I'm a Pittsburgh girl. I grew up in the city. Um, you know, I was driving up and down Route 8, getting contracts like crazy in long-term care and home care and all these things. And I was having this conversation with God where I was saying, I'm not moving to Butler. And I kept hearing, yes, you're moving to Butler. And I'm not you know, <laughs> trying to fight with the spiritual realm. And, and uh, the, reality sure it wasn't was, the, was, the poltergeist left over from the haunted office. Yeah, no, this was, these were good <laughs> powers. And, uh, you know, obviously I moved to Butler and, and now I've planted roots here. Um, so in 2003, when I was opening my, really the first office, not, Actually, the very first, the second office, the first one was the athletic club. It's the next one when we were granted direct access. And there was already probably four or five established PT places, uh, clinics in Butler. And so a lot of the PCPs were just sending people there. And then, you know, here also comes this PT who's doing yoga and nutrition and talking integration. And people really start to think, you know, I'm some voodoo physical therapist. And, and that's okay because it was new. And, you know, I was breaking out of the box. So the direct access really helped us to get our word out to the community because they could come directly to us. So that was new for physical therapy. Prior to 2003, you needed to have a prescription from a physician that said, you know, eval and treat for low back pain or post-surgery or car accident or fracture or whatever it might be, headaches. And then in 2003, you could start coming to us and directly, and I could evaluate you and begin treating you. And that stands to today and it's yeah. actually expanded. Yeah. Um, the only uh, insurer right now is Medicare where we are, we are allowed to eval and treat one time and then we need a physician to be involved. Okay. But it uh, now when did you get your, uh, your PhD? 
It's actually not a PhD. It's actually a doctor of physical therapy. It's a doctor, okay. Like a doctor of chiropractic or doctor of podiatry. Okay, so w- but when uh, did that happen? When did you get that? Yeah. And I just wanted to, to put that out I, there. But I that was 2006. 2006. 2006. Okay. So uh, my undergrad uh, bachelor's degree in 1990 and then 94, I got my master's in physical therapy. Then 2006, went back and, and got my doctoral degree. Okay. But it, it must be satisfying, though, to to have the the legislature or the you know the to be legal as a doctor to be able to do evaluations and you know prescribe what it is you can prescribe for people yeah you know and, and we we stand we still cannot prescribe meds and and that's fine with me because um, I'd rather go the nutritional route anyway mm-hmm. uh, but yeah I mean it's great that a person can come directly to us. The benefits are you come, we evaluate, we treat. So everything's happening right there. Right. You know, if you happen to sprain your ankle because you were playing basketball, if you went to traditional route, you know, the doc would say, let's get an x-ray. Okay, well, there's swelling. Stay off of it for a while. Come back in a week or two, and then maybe we'll start PT. Where when you come right to us, we're going to say, yeah, there's swelling, and we want to get rid of it. So we're going to start working on that right away. Um, you know, the bones most likely are going to be a little bit out of whack, if you will. Um, and an ankle sprain, the, the bottom of the tib and fib t- tend to translate forward. Hmm. So we know how to get that back in place so that you get your motion back. We get you walking right away, you know, maybe on a, a natural anti-inflammatory, a boswellia or something. And now instead of it being two weeks before you come to us, in two weeks, you're really kind of back in action. Yeah, that's really a good point. Very good point. And I, I do want to kind of talk about, it's, it's kind of related to that, how, you know, when you're working with somebody and you, cause they'll come to you first and start working with things. Mm-hmm. Don't you find that when somebody's there to deal with their, you know, ankle issue or something that you kind of drift in naturally, or they, they seem to be a little more willing to talk about the mental issues or the stresses in their mm-hmm. life that go along with that. And doesn't that allow you as a physical therapist some very interesting access and the ability to help people get started in different directions on the mental uh, arena as well? Yes. You know, we are the medical bartender, if you will. You know, you go out and and have a drink or, or the hairdresser, you know, you start telling them all your problems. And because of our one-on-one care, because of our hands-on care, and, and I mean, very specifically in our practice, we're very manual, very hands-on spending that time. Yeah. But really with any PT, yeah. you know, you're, you're going to spend some time together. And, you know, if you're in our office for an hour, an hour and a half, and half an hour of that easily, you know, we're spending one-on-one with you, like literally on the table while we're stretching or doing mobility or whatever we're chatting and we start to get to know each other in, in multiple ways. We, we start to share life. And so at that point, that definitely brings in the physical uh, and the emotional and the spiritual and, you know, having the ability to provide personal coaching in our place, or we start talking about nutrition um, and we talk about just maybe feeling down and out, you know, and, and especially people who really have chronic illness, you know, right. you, they, they tend to really start feeling separated and depressed. And that gives us the chance to then look deeper uh, in the pain aspect, but also in what else is going on in the body. Right. You know, and I, I'm in heavy research right now, really, with the whole endocrine system, again, because of what's going on in my endocrine system. But I see so many people with similar symptoms that are kind of being brushed off or, or, or they are on some type of medication, but that's not doing what it needs to do. Or now they're on some type of antidepressant when really there's something that's not functioning in the system that needs to be focused on. Mm -hmm. And so you're absolutely right. You know, being able to have that time, we can really, we can really look at the whole person. And if we can't handle it, then we are bringing in other practitioners, no matter what that is, you know, to, to get help for them. And that's really such an important point that, you know, the big knock on traditional medicine is that doctors don't spend time with you. And there you are, just because of the nature of what you do, you have to spend that time with them. So that's really a a blessing for the, for the client. Yeah. And I think in the, in the medical world to, to give them a little ease, um, sadly, you know, they may really be under pressure to see so many people in a day and, and prescribe so much or whatever, because there are a lot of 
intricacies with um, health insurance and uh, the medical, the medicine aspect of that. And so some of these docs, if they're involved with larger corporations and larger healthcare systems, they're not allowed to take that time. They they're literally um, so, don't have the tools. They, they don't have, the, like you say, they're not allowed to spend yeah. that time. And, you know, that is something that we we need to work together. I mean, all the professionals, I think, and, and those of us that support you and to try to help you organize and connect and that that network of professionals that we keep talking about is so important you know it's not just that you have different tools that you have in your toolbox to to use with people but you can point them to other trusted professionals that you know will do a good job to address i think the thing that people get so frustrated about is like you said they're they're in physical pain and then they get depressions and others emotional pain that goes with it it's like a double whammy and it's tough to find that double whammy doctor, you know, what, yeah. what doctor is going to treat you for both the physical and the emotional pain. Um, yes. So that's, uh, that's really, it's really blessed work that you do. And the fact that we're creating this network, do you want to talk a little bit about like the kind of professionals that you have that you're working with directly and maybe some more that you're looking for? Yeah, that would be great. I was actually just asked earlier today if we have an acupuncturist and on that works with us and we don't. Uh, I, I we know a couple of good ones. Yeah. Good, good. Cause we would love that. Okay. Um, you know, really as we move into this new space, we want that to be somewhat of an, of a one-stop shop. Now there's obviously only so much space available, sure. but the development of that can continue to grow, you know, so it's, it's, and the own entity as far as integration. So acupuncturists, we're still looking for. What we have right now, besides physical therapy, we have a doctor of chiropractor, Dan McCarty, that works with us. We do have a, uh, a, a reverend who does both uh, intuitive readings, but also could do spiritual counseling. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a yoga person that works with us. We are uh, presently in conversation with uh, Dr. Courtney, and his integrative practice and also Dr. Chaudhry and his psychological integrative practice to really bring kind of this dream team together to allow for, the, for that one-stop shop feel, yeah. you know, so that we know, and I've written this in other articles that if somebody comes in, as I said, with chronic pain, then they have some type of psychological component going on because chronic pain causes a person to feel depressed. Chronic pain makes a person not wanting want to eat and maybe in some cases they overeat and so to have you know someone like dr chaudry or someone on his staff available that can really acutely you know talk with that person boy imagine what would happen if we in that in that regard show we totally understand the pain and we want to help you get through that mm -hmm. and then if you take chronic pain one step further you know, right now, we, we definitely refer people for steroid injections, for low back pain, for neck pain, for other issues. But now, as I've been working with Dr. Courtney, you know, there are multiple other possibilities now for chronic pain and ozone sure. therapy and ozone prolozone therapy. therapy. And so, you know, along with nutritional supplements, now we're hitting in, in multiple multiple directions. You know, and then we have a yoga studio that's affiliated with us, like I said, not ours. And a massage studio so we can really work on calming um, the central nervous system, the sympathetic nervous system. Yeah. And, you know, and then you, as we touch upon the body in all those different ways, we're going to make some, some really radical changes in people's lives. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, like I say, it's really blessed work that you're doing. And um, just having this network, you know, besides the obvious benefits to the current clients uh, and people, you know, of, of all of you that get to now be able to, you know, in a trusted way, be referred to other integrative medicine professionals. This also opens up the possibility of creating some very interesting employee wellness programs. Do yes. you want to talk about that at all? Yeah, that's, um, that's going to be interesting how all that plays out. And, and I have feelers out to a couple of different companies, but as healthcare starts or doesn't start, continues to change uh, for all of us, including right. corporations. Corporations are really going to start looking for some other ways of, of spending their healthcare dollars. And so, um, private insurance or self insurance has been around for multiple years. 
Uh, it's just not widely known. So in a self-insurance model, a company will decide to take all the money that they spend on monthly premiums for people. And, you know, they have a, a company that kind of holds that in stock, if you will. And so then their workers will go to a certain place where they can get that primary care. And then all that is billed back to that company. Um, they do hold a catastrophic policy for, for larger things. You know, if somebody needs a really big surgery or they have a heart attack or whatever it might be. Um, but bringing a team together that can really provide all of that care and, and doing it truly in a mind, body, spirit way really provides an opportunity for true wellness. You know, at, to date, wellness in, in organizations and businesses, corporations has kind of been more of the put on your pedometer and walk and let's check your pulse and blood pressure and what are you eating? All good, all, you know, all good initiatives. However, it's not taking it to the next step where you can literally start to prevent beyond because now you're doing certain testing um, or you're looking at the psychological component or you have uh, the capability of abating chronic pain or really, really acute pain without going through all the, the hoops. You know, we, we can we can walk into a company and say on a wellness in a wellness perspective, we can help people to lose weight. We can help their systems to just work better, improve their strength and endurance. Um, and then on the other side, if they do get hurt, then we're prepped to get these people back, you know, much more quickly. Yeah. And I think what the most exciting thing is that you're really able to address the two key things that, uh, you know, according to all the current research now says accounts for 80% of everything that sends us to a doctor, and that is nutrition and stress. So mm. you come into a company and you start to, you know, besides all the other good things, like you say, you know, check blood pressure and get people to do more steps and all those other things, but have directly uh, impact the, the how they eat, what they eat, have good food available, get the junk food out, uh, and then, you know, have classes and then have mm -hmm. actual things on in a, in a workplace where you can de-stress. I mean, I've worked in corporate environments where there's massage available or where there's right. yoga available. Uh, and it makes such a difference to the corporate uh, atmosphere. And the it's one more thing that a company, because they have to invest so much in these employees, that's one more thing that makes these employees want to stay there because right. you know they actually get healthier. And uh, yeah. again, probably the most exciting thing about this is, if, according to everything I've heard and all the research, it's actually much cheaper for a company to go the self-insured route. Is that your understanding? Yeah. Absolutely, because when, you know, whatever company, whatever premiums you're paying on a monthly basis, that insurance company that's taking that money in just says, okay, great, and we're going to put it over here and, you know, we can invest it or, and we use that money as we wish. And we may and pay so, for things or we may not. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly, at their discretion, absolutely. And so in this case, that same amount of money stays with the company. And so they say, okay, you need physical therapy or you need a chiropractic adjustment or, oh, you want nutrition or, wow, okay, we know you have pain. Let's pay for that ozone therapy or prolozone or, okay, we see that you're stressed because of work and, and maybe something has happened at home. Maybe you've lost a loved one. You know, well, we want to support that as well. And so we have somebody here for you to speak to. And all of that comes out of that pot of money, that, that cash. And so you know, if you put all that together and first and foremost, the employee knows that you care about them from an employment perspective, that in itself is going to give them a little bit of a, a, a more impetus to get back, you know, to actually say, I really want to work and I want to work for this company. You know, they care about me and I care about them. Um, so yeah, it's definitely a cost reducer. There's no doubt about it. Well, it's a real exciting time uh, to be in this industry and to be uh, to be reporting on this kind of stuff. It must be really exciting to be having your hands on and be right right on the front lines there. I, I every day um, something new pops up or something falls into place, you know. And, and you know me well enough that I want everything done a week ago, <laughs> and uh, you know, so I'm working on my own type A ness and you know, allowing things to happen instead of me pushing through. Mm -hmm. And you know, the reality is at this point, 
what is on my plates, I need three more plates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, however, you know, the steps are taking, or, or we are taking steps to allow all that to happen. And so everything we're talking about, you know, there's some things like the physical therapy, balance wellness, it's in place and, and we have our systems and we're good to go. When we started talking about all of this integration from inside our building to taking this to corporations, that's all going to continue to evolve. Mm -hmm. The really neat thing is that people do want it and corporations want it. Yep. And, you know, like the, the leadership training I'm now doing, I, I'm a certified trainer for Sam Deep Leadership Academy. And he's taken this academy out to multiple very large corporations and it's about emerging leaders. Mm -hmm. So it's one more way for companies to say, we care about the younger people here we want to teach you how to communicate. We want to teach you how to um, have conflict resolution. We want to teach you how to listen. You know, we want to teach you about servant leadership. And uh, as a facilitator of that, that that opens a, a whole other ball game. So for me to go into a corporation and be able to do that with emerging leaders, and also to be able to come in and say, boy, we can really help you with the healthcare side of this. You know, that's what really makes me sit back and say, wow. You know, uh, these last 14, 15 years have really produced uh, some incredible roots. Yeah. It's a really, uh, and to think you just started out uh, as a physical therapist, it's uh, it's quite a career, it's quite a story. Yeah. And uh, uh, I really appreciate you being with us today. Why don't you give us your uh, contact information? It's balanceforwellness.com. That's your website, it, right? It is. And your phone Yeah, our, uh, our Butler office, 724-477-3181. Our Mars office, 724-687-0731. We will be making the move from the uh, Mars office first, and it looks like that may actually happen in September. Okay. Uh, our Butler office will stay open for a few months uh, after that to allow for some more transition. The website, just keep a, keep peeking at that, www.balanceforwellness.com, and, and we'll have information on there. Great. Well, we really appreciate you being on the show today and best of luck with all of that. And I'm sure we'll have you back in the future and uh, find out more about what's going on in employee wellness and physical therapy. Yeah, I love being here. So anytime. And uh, this is fun just to sit and chat. Yeah, you bet. Thanks, Dr. Laurie. Thanks, Ben. Okay. So that'll do it for this week. Join us again next week for more Lifestyle Medicine here with the Journal of Lifestyle Medicine. A podcast is a weekly event. Uh, you can track us on Facebook, iTunes, Spreaker, Stitcher, and YouTube, or join us here every Tuesday at 4 o'clock live uh, at the Journal of Medicine.com, uh, Journal of Lifestyle Medicine.com. Uh, also, be sure to join our Integrated Medicine Professionals Meetup group if you are a pro, or as I like to call you, an imp, Integrated Medicine Professionals. That's meetup.com and do a search for Pittsburgh Integrative Medicine Professionals. So that'll do it for this week. And until next week, yens be careful out there.